Hi Danielle, my name is Alicia, also known as Eleanor's Turtle, um, and I'm posting this as a video response to your question about why I support Sean and the Uncultured Project pretty much in place of any other support um, of any other philanthropic organization. I guess my answer to your question um, is First of all, um, I spent myself some time in Bangladesh, about four months, so his project really resonated with me personally um, because of my own experience there um, and how he was going about doing his work was what I would like to do, something that I could see myself um, doing and being able to um, actually give myself um, wholly into something like he has done, um, putting his whole self um, into his project. That to me is amazing, um, something that I would love to do, um, but only certain people are called to do certain jobs, and he has been called to do the Uncultured Project. I can't do what he is doing, but I want to do what he's doing, so I help him as much as I possibly can through donations and um, through video responses and comments. I don't know, I just, it struck a chord in me. And yes, he's much different um, than other philanthropic organizations because of the transparency of, um, of the donations. Um, and you can see exactly what he's doing with the money and you can tell him what he should do with the money that you give him. Um, he takes your input and he takes it seriously um, and he actually listens to you. So it's not like you give him the money and he takes a 10% cut off the top and then it disappears into nothingness and you have no idea where exactly it went. Um, but you post a video response and your face ends up on a sign next to a water filter in a village in Bangladesh that gives clean water to an entire village. Um, or you give him money for hurricane um, relief packs and he actually sends you a picture and video of the exact package that you bought being given to the person that you bought it for. Um, that the complete transparency and the connectedness between me here in America or me here in Korea being able to connect directly back to Bangladesh without ever flying there but knowing that people who need it are getting it and you can see that connection it just com it's crazy to me that he's able to do that through social media and yes I think that other philanthropic organizations they did the same thing I think their ability to to draw people into helping would be much better. And Sean's talked a lot about um, how guilting people into giving um, doesn't work and it's not the right way to do things. I never liked being guilt tripped by my parents and I don't like being guilt tripped by philanthropic organizations. Show me how you help people. Show me how my money is being used. Give me access and transparency. You know that they're just trying to tear at your heartstrings, you know? And Sean does that, but in a different way. You know, he makes you feel good about what you've done um, when you see the results. All I had to do was uh, type in my credit card number and, you know, tell him how much I wanted to give him and send a video response. And all of a sudden, you know, the results are tremendously... Um, encouraging yeah so I really like Sean and I really like his project um, and yeah he's a really neat guy